Hey, my name is Nathan with ClearPath Robotics, and today I'm here to show you how to set up and configure your new Husky A300. We'll walk you through connecting to the robot's onboard computer, connecting it to Wi-Fi, and then setting up an offboard computer. What you'll need to get started is your Husky uh, with some charge, or you can connect it to a charger. You'll need an Ethernet cable, and you'll need your computer. If you haven't already unboxed your Husky A300 and gotten it driving around, I'd recommend checking out our unboxing video linked in the description below. Let's get started. First, let's connect to the robot over Ethernet. The robot will need to be on for this. Uh, the Husky A300 has convenient ports available in the access panel. It has Ethernet, HDMI, and USB 3.0. You'll notice when we open the access panel door, the e-stop was triggered. That's so the robot won't drive while it's charging or you're connected to it. The next step is we're going to connect the Ethernet port on our computer to the Ethernet port on the Husky. Now that we have the Ethernet cable connected, we'll need to manually set the IP address on our wired interface. So first we'll open our network manager settings and we'll create a new ethernet profile. We'll have to manually set the IP address. Uh, ClearPath robots are set to the 192.168.131 subnet. For this offboard computer, we'll set it to 100 so that we don't interfere with any of the peripherals on the robot. And we'll give this a name, Clear Path Robot Ethernet. And we'll click Add. So now that we have that selected, we'll open a terminal. We should now be able to ping the robot at its wired IP address, uh, which is 192.168.131.1. And you can see we get a response. The next step is to SSH into the robot. The username is robot, so it's SSH robot. And then at the wired IP 192.168.131.1, it'll ask you to confirm if you trust the authenticity of the host. We'll say yes. Uh, it'll ask you for a password. The password is just clear path, all lowercase. And now we're connected to the robot. Alternatively, uh, it is possible to connect a monitor with an HDMI cable and a keyboard over USB if you're having any issues. Now that we have an SSH connection to the robot over Ethernet, uh, let's connect the robot to Wi-Fi so we can communicate with it wirelessly. The Husky A300 is set up with ROS2, and in ROS2 by default, topics are broadcast across the entire network. To mitigate nodes subscribing and publishing to the same topics accidentally, uh, the Husky A300 has a namespace, which is by default the serial number of the robot. I recommend checking out the ROS2 networking section of the ClearPath documentation. There are a number of options to consider when setting up ROS2 networking on your robot. ClearPath platforms use NetPlan to manage network configurations efficiently. We'll go to the NetPlan directory we type ls, we can see uh, what's in here. Currently, we just have one YAML file. Um, for convenience, we'll add a template YAML file to this video that you can download and use. I've saved it to the home directory. So we'll, we'll move it to the NetPlan directory. Now, if we go back to the NetPlan directory, we can see the file has been moved. We can open this file. In this template, you have to specify your wireless interface and then the name, the SSID of the access point, and then the password for the Wi Fi network. So now that we have our YAML file, we'll do sudo netplan try, uh, just in case, we, in case we made any mistakes. In this case, uh, we didn't, so we can just press enter to accept the changes. Um, if there are any errors, uh, it should revert back to the original settings. Um, 
So we can go ahead and disconnect the Ethernet cable from the robot. In a new terminal, we'll try to ping um, CPR A300 009. And we get a response. Great. We're now connected wirelessly to the robot. Now that the networking is set up on the robot, um, let's SSH back into it wirelessly. So we'll do SSH robot at CPR A300 0009. Say yes. And the password is ClearPath. And we're back in. Now that we're connected to the robot, uh, I'll show you just quickly how to interact with the robot with the ROS command line interface. Uh, we can now run commands like ROS2 topic list to get a list of the topics running on the robot. We can also do ROS node, ROS2 node list, and get a list of the nodes running on the robot. Um, if we wanted to echo a topic, we could do ROS2 topic echo, um, and then with the namespace, A300, platform, odometry, and filtered. And you can see the data streaming on the odometry filter topic. This is the platform wheel odometry fused with the IMU data. Now, as an alternative, we'll also set up the off-board computer to uh, communicate from a different machine. Up until now in the video, connecting to the robot's onboard computer and connecting it to Wi-Fi, uh, most computers and operating systems would have worked. For this next se section with setting up an off-board computer, this will require ROS2 Jazzy. We'll include a link in the description below for instructions to set this up. Otherwise, let's get started with setting up the off-board PC. So to make use of graphical ROS tools, we need to configure our off-board computer. We have ROS2 Jazzy installed on the off-board computer because the Husky A300 is also running ROS2 Jazzy. So our current terminal is connected to the robot. Uh, we'll split this so that now we have the other part of the terminal with just our machine. We can confirm that we're running ROS2 Jazzy by typing echo ROS distro. For the best experience, we'd recommend adding the ClearPath package server, and instructions will be linked below. Once the ClearPath package server is added, we can run sudo apt install ross jazzy clearpath desktop and give it a password to my computer. Uh, you can see I already have this installed, uh, but this is the desktop package for ClearPath computers. So we'll want to make a new directory called ClearPath. Uh, the next step is we'll need to transfer the robot YAML file off of the robot to our computer. So we'll, we'll type SCP robot at CPR A300 0009. And we'll give it the path to the file on the com robot's computer. And then we'll provide the directory on our local machine that we want the file to be moved to. And you can see it moved the robot YAML file. Now that we have the robot YAML file, uh, we will manually run the generator on the robot. There is a daemon that runs the generator on startup, um, but our, our off-board computer will have to run it separately. So that's ROS2 run, clear path, generator, common, generate underscore bash, dash s, and the directory. So if we did that correctly, the setup.bash file will appear. Uh, we can now source setup.bash. So now we can source the generated setup.bash file. And we should be able to see the nodes and topics on the robot from our offboard computer. Now we can use graphical tools like Arviz. So we'll do ROS2 launch, clear path, 
underscore viz view underscore robot and we'll specify the namespace of the robot. In this case, it's the serial number, so A300 underscore 0009. Here is the robot in Arvis. Uh, just to show you one more graphical tool, we can also run RQT graph. And in this case, I've selected um, the MCU topics um, so we can see what's uh, subscribing and, and publishing to this node. If you encounter any issues, I recommend checking out ClearPass online documentation. Uh, there's a significant amount of information on the Husky A300, the ClearPass for ROS2 platform software, and ROS2 networking. Otherwise, feel free to contact support as well at support at clearpathrobotics.com. So just to recap, uh, we've connected to the robot computer over Ethernet. We've connected the computer to a Wi-Fi network. And then we've also set up our off-board computer and we had a look at some visualization tools. You're now ready to get started on your project. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.